Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended family, just thank you for taking it easy on yourself, you know, seeing the signs and the synchronicities that are coming towards your path to allow you to be able to you know, validate the things that are going on in your life that you probably have questions about. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings. Love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. And if you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive the feedback of the content of my video or you just tell me about your empathic gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction also um if you feel like the videos just gave you good vibes or just good content or just good you know good information or whatever that you feel like you it can help another person especially needs it right now go ahead and share it with them as well or and also give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and once again, thank you so much for showing love and support towards me and my channel. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today I'm listening to this beautiful meditation. The last few meditations I've been doing, this is like my sixth video I'm doing today. Um, so I've been really picking some really good manifest, uh, not manifestations, um, meditation videos. Uh, this one's called Access to Higher Realm, Inner Guidance, and Clarity, Meet Your Higher Self Binary Beats. And I hope this, you know, if you truly need that, you need to get towards your higher self or trying to get towards that higher realm to get clarity and understanding. This would be the best, best meditation for you because it got me so calm. You know, you know, I'm over here drinking a monster drink and, you know, if I'm drinking a monster drink, then I'm turning around and getting some water at the same time. You know, it got me really you know really calm so um today my video is about twin flame 101 when that dark cloud heads towards your way you know we all got those dark dark clouds head towards our way every once in a while you know we're not always going to have a positive day but you always you know and but we have a bad habit it's like um when something can really throw us off and you know there's days that that happens you can be in a good mood and it can take that one person or one certain situation to occur and it mess up your whole day you know we all got to deal with that dark cloud every once in a while you know there's some people that i know that choose to be up under that dark cloud because that's all they're used to you know and i really you know i feel bad for people that goes through that to a certain extent because i feel like if you can be able to change this some people don't like change you know i i hate it when there's some t people especially on social media i have to put in snooze because it's like certain things you can say i love but then there are certain things that you bring this dark dark depression depressing thing oh you know i'm gonna always be alone or oh you know life really sucks and i wish i can just die you know i was at that point where i wanted to commit suicide there are things that i did i won't get into details what i did but the things that i did i should you know the next person probably would have been blessed to be able to be here but i obviously i know with all the things that i was trying to purposely do to myself for self-harm uh you know the doctors are trying to figure out how the heck did i make it through that I remember one time I was even hit by a drunk driver, like side, like, I mean, this car came running dead into my, my car where it could have knocked me over the cliff because I was on the outer road and, and the lower road was the main highway and it was really busy. But, um, I just put my hand on the glass and just prayed next to, you know, all I did is just, you know, mess up my left side. You know, I was crushed on that side, but it was just because of the way my foot was sitting on the side of the door, it held the balance of the car. And plus, it felt like somebody was pressing against the car for the car not to flip over. Because I was like really upset, like, dang, you know, I felt bad for the guy, even though he was a drunk driver or whatever, you know, because the police was like, I've never seen somebody who get hit and they're wor more worried about the person that caused the accident, especially if they knew, you know, I guess it was like they could smell alcohol in the car. It was that bad. Um, be more concerned about that person that hit you know i said it's just anybody i know he didn't do it on purpose you know before i fire you know knew what 
like whole situation went down but I consider myself being really blessed I really do and I know there's times that you know when we have these situations that happens to us and we shouldn't really focus on that and I know it's a hard thing to do because us in human form we tend to dwell on things that really has messed us up you know there's dark clouds that come and there's sometimes it's hard to push them away because certain situations you have gone through it could have really traumatized you and I tell people a lot of times for us to have certain kind of mental blocks or mental issues as an adulthood it had to have something to do with your you know your childhood to make help you know going through effects like that towards your adult time so it's just like you know I look at my stuff and there's days I have bad days and I get angry you know and I'm just like you know I understand karma <laughs> works in mysterious ways but I'm wondering why how certain people ain't getting their bag on karma right now you know I get aggravated about that and I can't be able I can't sit up here and tell the universe when the heck to give somebody some bad karma because that can shoot me off bad karma just because the fact is I'm trying to wish something bad on somebody so I try to stop doing that you know I, I say I'm a work in progress okay because if you've been with me a while you know exactly what I'm talking about but it's just like I'm just blessed to be able to, even though I went through very traumatizing situations, I know I can use that not to get sympathy, but just to have you look at a certain situation like there's days y'all see me laugh. I'll act a fool. So basically if anybody, you know, does one on one on with me, there's times I've been, you know, talking to people and it can be so sad and I would do the most stupidest things to make them laugh. Like, uh uh, we are not gonna do this today and I understand this is going on, but look at it this certain way. You know, sometimes it takes that person that you know you can trust. Let me put it that way. Certain people you can talk to that you can rely on and trust to help you look at something in a positive way, even though it had a negative impact on your life. I try to tell people, yeah, you went through this, but look how far you have came. Look how you know, this, yes, it affected you at this one point in time, but look how much stronger just because this situation happened to you is a lot stronger. You know, I have relatives that went through certain things and it still messes up with them to this day. And I feel really bad, you know, uh, knowing that my, my children have, you know, went through things. There's a lot of things I, you know, they, they got exposed to that I really wish I could take back, you know, um, and it really messed them up mentally. And it, some of my kids, you know, they're, you know, they're very strong going through these things and knew it humbled them and gave them strength. And they knew, you know, me being a young mother, you know, <laughs> I was a teenage mom. I had my first daughter at 16. And I mean, I, I had to learn very quick. I was, you know, trying to play mom and I was, you know, a baby myself. So there was a lot of things that my children shouldn't have seen that, you know, I wish I could erase out their mind because, it, you know, it kind of scarred them for life. You know at that situation for them to be able to see certain things that I wish I could turn away but when my children you know there's some you know my some of my kids are you know going through things and we don't talk because of the situation I'm going through now and then there's my other two you know they're like mom you know I see all the positive things you're doing and I'm so grateful and I know you did everything you could do and you know my, my my daughters be shooting me little texts or put something out on Facebook that really has my heart strings pull and I will cry because then I can say you know what I might have put my kids through some things and I did the best that I could but at least they can appreciate what I could do you know I if I could have did more for them they knew I could have did anything for them I would sacrifice anything for my kids I supported my kids the best that's way I knew how you know I nobody has a textbook for you to be when you're a first-time mom especially if you had your children at a very young age so it's just like when I see my my situation and there's hard times but I have to look at it and say you know what Rosalind look at your situation and look how many times you don't put that out there for people to look at their situation not to say my situation is worse than yours because I don't know what you have been through but all I know is even though it can be very traumatic to you and it, it could have made you put a lot of walls up, just know that this situation is not your product. You shouldn't wear that billboard of a victim that has went through this. You can either use it as to make you or to break you. And this situation wasn't to break you. You know, even though I don't know how hard it is with the things that you had to go through, but you can get strength from the pain that you have, you know, the pain you have endured or you experienced. 
you know, when I look at my situation, I grow from it each and every day. I try to tell God and universe at least about five to ten things that I'm grateful for, for every day. You know, so when you know that dark cloud ain't going to always be there, you always have to look for the silver lining in there, in there somewhere. You have to. You know, and I know it can be hard at times. And trust me, I know there's days that, you know, I just don't understand why I went through this. But then when I know I can get this text or a comment from somebody telling me I've helped them through some times. Like there's times I don't cry because people has told me they were about to blow their head off or they were about to take all these pills or they were about to hang themselves until they watched one of my videos. That is just a beautiful blessing to me to know what I went through can help somebody else. Look at them like, Dag, if she's going through this and this has to, I can't even imagine this. I will not want to, I don't wish this on my worst enemy to go through what I went through. Because losing a parent is already hard. And especially if you're a child, you know, that was adopted. It already makes you think, Dag, did my family not love me? But my mom and my dad weren't married. You know, my grandparents didn't want my, my, my family, my actually my mom and dad to be having a child out of wedlock. You know, my parents weren't married. So they wanted me to have the best life, you know. And that's the best thing you want to do if you know you can't afford a child or you're young. You know, because my mom had me at 16, I turned around and had my kids at 16. And thank God I broke that generational curse because I said I refuse. I want to make sure my kids go through school. You know, not have no children until they're out of their, you know, out of school, until they're out of their 20s. You know, letting them know because they've seen how hard I struggled. I don't, never want to see my kids do that. You know, if you're a parent, you always want better for your children. So it, it's just like you see all these things. So just to be able to know that you can get through these things. And you have to look for that silver lining and knowing you're not a product of whatever situation you have went through. Do not play victim, you know, because it's, it's just like playing victim is not going to get you nowhere. It's just like a rocking chair. It's going to take you back and forth, but where is it really going? You know, you have to know that a situation, the universe has put you in a situation where they have to break you to get that full effect. They have to put you through certain things for you to be able to blossom, you know, just like I put this... Uh, this post up the other day you have to bloom you know that seed starts at the bottom for it to be able to become a beautiful flower at top it took that that thing to go through all these different processes to be this big beautiful flower you know we have to go through all these different things for us to be where we are today you know when it gets better you have to really know it's, it's going to get better don't get put that don't stay up under that dark cloud and be like Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh. Oh, woe well, is me. <laughs> you know, he always talks like that. Well, I'm not really loved anyway. You know, and he really went through it. I'm like, God, dog, I feel bad for Eeyore and I hope it gets better for him. You know, so don't be that person. Know that good things are coming your way. Know that blessings are heading towards your way. But you have to work hard. You have to know that you have to take that leap out on faith, knowing things are there even when you cannot see them. That's the best thing you can do. So I hope you're able to resonate with content in this video. Much love and light to everyone. Saying I love y'all so much and I missed y'all for those last 24 to 48 hours. But I had to give me some rest. I had to clear my mind and clear my energy before I step forth in front of y'all. So much love to y'all. I hope y'all have a blessed day weekend. And be responsible with everything you do. Much love to Miss Mickey Morgan, my, my little Sophia. I love calling her Sophia because she having cracking up laughing for some of the stuff she be saying to me. So much love to y'all. Love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved, and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I will see you on my next video. Peace and be wow.